it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I take my hair from this to this. So if you guys want to see how I do that in a matter of minutes, then please keep watching. So I wake up, you know, and my hair is like this. Oh my gosh, I washed it last night and afterwards I added the Shea Moisture, I believe it's the Manuka and Honey Mask. I'm gonna put it here on the screen. I sometimes like to do that when I know that I'm wearing my hair out because the mask really just like helps hydrate my hair and it doesn't make it as crazy. And as you can see, the curls are already a bit defined even though I haven't done anything yet today. So the first thing I do is I'm going to take my wild growth hair oil and I'm going to add that to my scalp. When I started using this, I realized how hydrating and moisturizing this product was. So I like to add it onto the scalp and throughout the hair before I wear my hair out just because I feel like I'm like, oh my God, like, my hair is growing, when of course it is, but I like to add it for that extra moisture as well as knowing that, hey, I added my hair growth oil, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing in regards to like my hair growth journey for my personal hair growth journey. So yeah, I kind of do it as so. I warm it up by um, rubbing my fingers together, my fingertips, and then I apply it to my scalp to the end. So now it kind of looks like an afro. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to wet my hair. This is what the mask looks like. I'm sure I put it on the screen, but this is the bomb.com. It's just an intensive hydration mask and it does just that. So I have my spray bottle with water and I'm gonna dab my hair. I want my hair to be wet. And I would have normally, you know, just stuck my head in the sink and did that, but I don't wanna wash out, you know the mask that I have in my hair so I'm going to do it this way and also this allows you for more control over like how wet your hair is going to be and how wet you want it to be for styling so and this is honestly from Dollar Tree it has a nice spritz if y'all can see that if not I just wasted a little bit of water but it has a nice spritz, so it doesn't make your hair too wet, but it dampens it just enough, in my opinion. Next, I'm going to take my wide tooth comb, and I'm going to just comb through the hair. I'm going to get all the knots out, and also see kind of where everything is. If I want to wet it more, I would do so after combing. all combed out like I said you can kind of assess if you want to wet your hair a little bit more which I do so I'm going to just a bit especially on the ends I find that that's like where my hair can get dry so all right so now our hair is damp we have our mask in as well as our hair growth oil and now we're ready to start styling you're gonna need just some little rubber bands. I have these from Dollar Tree. They're different colors. I don't know if you can really see them. Some of them are blue, yellow, pink. I don't really care because you're not gonna see them too much anyways because that's just how my hair is. But I'm gonna take my comb, my regular comb, and I'm going to just kind of create the line um, of how I want my hair to really separate for this look. So I like to just brush it forward, kind of like bangs. And then I kind of see how much hair I have. And if I want to add more, I add. And if I want to take out, I take out. But of course I make sure it's even. I try to make sure that we have a straight line. Alright, so this seems like a decent amount of hair. I don't want to add too much because I kind of do want a lot of hair out. So I'm going to take the rest of the hair. I'm going to put it into a very loose uh, low bun. And 
And now we're gonna get started. So, I'm gonna part the hair in the middle to create two even sections. I'm gonna take my huge tub of Eagle Styler. Like when I tell y'all, this is my thing. This is literally the 2.36 liter. Like, please. I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm just gonna be adding that on to the hair. So where I want the hair to be flat, that's where I'm adding it. Then I'm gonna take my flat brush from Dollar Tree because, yeah, and I'm kinda just gonna flatten it out to my liking. And if I need to add more gel, I will do so. But I find that adding this specific gel, especially on top of damp hair, you don't need too much. So that's, that's a win. So I'm gonna take my first little rubber band and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna tie it up. So at first, I just like to tie it in a regular ponytail. I don't add, I don't make it into a bun yet just because I want to make sure that I have like a nice, um, secure base to the bun. And I tighten it, make sure that it's flat. If it's not, you know, I'll go in with that flat brush and kind of just brush everything down. And this is also where I'll add some more gel if I feel like I need to, the Eco Styler. Now I'm gonna make them into buns. So I'm gonna take another little rubber band and I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around and make my little buns. They don't have to be perfect, but here we are. All right, so boom, I have my two little buns. So I'm gonna let the rest of my hair go. And this is how it looks. So I'm going to add some product into it. I just love this. I feel like it's so cute. Ah, okay. So I am, for today's stylers, I'm going to use my Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls along with my Garnier Fructis Curl and Rush Leave-In Treatment. I really, really love these. Um, I like the, how the Pillow Soft Curls, that's what I'm going to go in with first. Rub it in and disperse evenly throughout the hair, but I love how it really tames the curls without giving it a hard feel. Like it's literally the name Pillow Soft Curls. You don't really feel like you have product in your hair. And at first, that made me really nervous because I was so used to having some type of hold. Like, I think if you want more of a hold, you would use the um, multicultural curls. Now, that one is very soft on my hair, too, but it has a little bit more of like a crunch. Like, it'll leave a little bit more of a crunch. Whereas this one is literally like, you will not feel a thing, which is good. But for me, who was used to it, I was like, is this even working? And it was, so. But adding the Garnier one, see that was like way too much, but I'm still gonna use it. But using the Garnier one might help with that, but because I like a little bit of like more of a hold and because my hair gets really um, frizzy, I like to add my Eco Styler gel on top. You guys are probably like, what do you mean? Well, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm just dispersing the product from the root to the end so that the hair is evenly coated so that we don't have any parts that are like, you know, too flat, too tall. You know, we have it kind of perfectly and evenly distributed. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the Eco Styler, take it in my hand, and I like to just kind of pat it on top and scrunch just a bit. That really helps give the hold. It doesn't make the hair too hard. It does give a bit of a harder hold, but it's nothing that's too hard, too crunchy, you know? Um, and I really, really like it because it really just holds throughout the day. 
all the products that I use together are really, really good, but the Eco Styler is what really, really helps me hold throughout the day, and I don't use a lot. I'm taking a little more, just a tad, and if you want to kind of just fluff out the hair, you can, and your hair is going to stay. I really, really love this method. Like, it just makes the curls so cute and bouncy, but they still hold in their place. Like, I absolutely love it. But be very light, you know? Very light. I'm not, you know, patting hard. I'm patting nicely to kind of give volume and to just ensure everything is in its place the way I want it to be. So that is it for the styling portion. Sometimes I'll go in with my got to be glued blasting free spray like where I created the bun so that I would make sure that nothing moves but you know using the Eco Styler alone is perfectly fine but if you want to use that or your regular got to be glued hair gel on top you can do that of course. I don't think I'm going to do that today because I really don't think I need to. But that's just an option. So I'm going to go finish my makeup and like finish getting ready. And then I'll come back when I'm like fully not 100% cute. Because like, you know, I'm going to come back when I'm ready. And then show y'all the final result after it being, you know, my hair being dried a bit. I don't use a diffuser or anything. I don't like applying too much heat to my air, hair. So, and I don't really know how to use a diffuser. Let's be real, okay? So it's going to be air drying. So you guys are going to see how that is in about like 20, 30 minutes. So. I'll be right back. So we are now ready. Oh my god, I'm loving for this orangey red. <sighs> I'll do a video if you guys want me to. Link down below. Well, not link down below. I didn't even film it. But let me know down below if you guys want to see how I got this look. Because I'm absolutely obsessed. Quick side note. Here's the thing. I'll film when like... I don't know. Like when I'm not confident in a look, I'll be like, okay, let me try it out first. And then it comes out so good. And then I'm like, I should have filmed it. But you know what? If you guys want it, I'll film it. So I'm going to be taking the Eco Styler Gel again. So we're going to finish off the hair and I'm going to do my little edges. What I like to do, I like to take just a bit on the brush and I put it on the cap on the inside. So I don't have too much. And I just kind of pull and swoop. Pull and swoop. And your finger can kind of act like it helps hold it down and put it in place so hold and swoop say it with me now hold and swoop eh. hold and swoop eh. hold and swoop eh. you know so same thing take some on the brush i put it on the back of the lid just because you know you don't want too much product i rather use like too little than too much when it comes to gel especially hold and swoop and also swooping up just kind of helps like flatten like let's say if you have any bumps like kind of just helps a bit also i recommend if you ever need any more on your brush take the excess that you tapped off because like you're not wasting product just a little tip from nikki that's all hold and swoop up I'm not gonna lie, I made a bop just now. Hold and swoop, wow. That's that, I kinda wanna take like a small piece of curl and have it like right in the front. It doesn't make that big of a difference, but at the same time it does. Like that, kind of. So that is it for this hair tutorial. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. I absolutely love it. Super easy. I hope you guys could try it and follow along with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if there's more curly hair videos you want to see. I have some videos on my hair already that I'll link up here. I'll link the playlist. I did a review on the hair roll oil that I used in the beginning of this video. So if you guys want to see a little bit more in-depth detail about that, you guys can totally click the icon and check that video out. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Leave a yellow heart, okay? And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! What's up with we whistling today? Okay, bye. Father, so in the hold up, father, follow him.
motion, show up. If you're down to roll up, meet me on the west side, but. 